that question about the what's the relation of linked data to what to what you're talking about. Well, it's basically um, uh, the destination of a link. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, when people search for a specific subject, why shouldn't they receive the appropriate uh, uh, video and, and, and other media um, as the result of that search? Mm -hmm. I was watching somebody uh, who had a, a kind of a mock-up of what it might look like, and it was tab-driven. You could, you know, the tabs are right there, and you just click on it, and you see the video. You could, you know, and so I, I, it gave me a sense that this can really be organized in a, in a user interface that would be uh, pleasant and user friendly. We have a really exciting new development that will come out in 2012. Um, it's uh, the ability to synchronize uh, different types of media. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, in an Alexander Street product, you have the video running and you have a synchronized mm -hmm. scrolling transcript. So that's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. But if you take a movie like Citizen Kane, um, if you're viewing it as a cinematographer, apparently, and I'm not one of those, but apparently the unbelievable thing is, is the camera comes in, it dives through the skylight, and then curves around uh, before featuring uh, awesome. And to this day, people don't really understand how pre-CGI they were able to do that in a seemingly unbroken way because you can't see any rail that the camera was being traipsed down. Mm -hmm. So how actually did you do that? Yeah. So that's not going to occur to most film students that that's actually going on. Right. So historically the way that's been handled is there's a voiceover. Well that spoils the movie. Mm -hmm. And also the length of time it takes to, to say, say something, mm -hmm. you, you know, you actually can read in five seconds and then get on to watching what's actually going on Whereas you're waiting for the person speaking to actually get to the point they are. So early in 2012, we're going to be launching a system whereby uh, we publish what we call critical video editions. And these are going to be annotated with multiple synchronous tracks, mm -hmm. each of which explains some aspect of the video. Wow. Wow. So you'll be able, for example, to watch a movie and see a cinematographer's view and then perhaps there's a different kind of view, which is a cultural view. You're watching a film from 1950. You don't understand mm -hmm. that this particular woman is wearing um, mm -hmm. a Christian Dior dress um, that is, you know, just spectacular for its day mm -hmm. and would have been uh, understood by everybody mm -hmm. to be a, a precursor to, to, to Jackie's wearing similar items, uh, the status symbol, all the various things that historically would have been lost, mm -hmm. or at least would have needed to be explained in a much more cumbersome way. Mm -hmm. We're also going to make it that um, scholars themselves can actually add such tracks mm -hmm. and annotations. So if, for example, you are, to say for argument's sake, um, watching a German film, mm -hmm. and there is no translation into English, um, but it's very important for your students to understand this, you could simply translate Hello. those sections of the video that are germane to the hey, uh, subject at hand and, and have an English track running on the side. That really, that really will make a difference. I, as you were saying, I thought, well, that, what Stevens was referring to and talking about would actually revolutionize film, revolutionize film criticism. Oh, absolutely. Which, I mean, it just gives you film in context. In a film in context, yeah. And um, the other nice thing is that Quite often on these doc director's cuts, we have long pauses. Mm. You know, yeah. it's, it's, you know, you'll be listening to them and they, they basically have nothing to say about this section of the film. Mm. So really what you want to do is kind of actually watch the director's cuts in sequence. So instead of having the main key actually be the film, you can switch the main key to be the track that actually goes, goes through, say, the cinematographer's mm -hmm. version. So there are 15 cinema, cinematographic, mm -hmm. fantastic pieces, and just you go one, two, three, four, five, right the way through that, mm -hmm. can get through that particular thing mm -hmm. in uh, 20 minutes, versus two hours waiting for the correct bits to come up mm -hmm. when you watch on the movie. Well, that really would give the viewer a sense of the creative process, right. mm -hmm. and how it is more than one person. It is, in the film in particular, is, a, is a, an artistic form that requires multiple involvement from a variety of people and, and what you're describing would really make that crystal clear. Yeah. yeah. I find that very compelling. Yes, I think that'd be... Well, it's cool. Well, they, yeah. uh, fingers crossed. 
<laughs> next yeah. uh, next year we'll we'll well, you know here you go this is this is mm -hmm. you know proof of the proof of the concept mm -hmm.